So here we have another fear narrative where this individual is apparently acknowledging that all of the experts did an assessment of Fukushima, concluding that the radioactivity was insufficient to produce any measurable medical effects in the Japanese public, then claiming that because a little bit of radioactivity was released into the ocean, it's now all irradiated. Yeah, so the ocean's always been radioactive. It always will be. The radioactivity that was used to make electricity in Fukushima, it came from the earth. It's continually being dumped into the ocean by erosion off of the rivers. And the fission process is just accelerating the breakup of those larger nuclei into smaller nuclei. And we do it really fast to make heat, to make electricity. And that's how it works. Truth is that that's nothing compared to the amount of radioactivity that was dumped into the ocean last century from atmospheric weapons testing. You've been breathing it, eating it, living on it your entire life. It covered the earth. And that's a fraction, a small fraction of the dose you get from natural background. Even though those fission products from atmospheric weapons testing, they're everywhere. The cesium, the strontium, it's in your bones. The cesium, it's in your muscle. It's everywhere. And so, yeah, what happened there at Fukushima was a small fraction of what we already had there present. A very, very small fraction. And so, again, it's a fear narrative. I think these are going to keep coming. I hate to be so depressing, but that's pretty depressing when people choose fear over science. I don't know what to say. Thanks for watching. I hope I didn't depress you. It's depressing. Bye.